Um, who's your next witness? People call Jonathan Acker to the stand. Mr. Acker, come on up. Yes, Your Honor. Oop. Chairs. Hit. There we go. Look at that. Look at that fucking felon walk. That thug walk. <laughs> uh, I would like to, to remain standing, Your Honor, if that's okay. All right, whenever you're ready. Oh, I don't, I don't think I've been sworn. Oh, sorry. Uh, Acker, raise your left hand. You swear to speak the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, and our pains and penalties of perjury. So help you, Nikita. <laughs> so I swear. All right, who's in store now? Let's go. All right, I'll try to make this quick. Mr. Acker, were you at the courthouse on the 20th? Uh, <laughs> yes, I was. All right, did you see the defendant there? Um, yes, I did. <laughs> All right, and uh, what happened after the the election results were announced? Um, after the, the the honorable Mr. Crane announced the, the election results, um, a man in a red jumpsuit uh, was noticed running at the crowd. looked like he was going after Mr. Thoroughbred. He pu pulled out a a red implement, looked like a a pipe, something blunt. Um, after people started noticing him, including me, uh, they all started f fleeing into the courthouse. Uh, the mayor and mo mo most of his cabinet fled into there, uh, followed shortly by the man, man in a red, uh, the red jumpsuit. Um, after that was a, a mix of c civilians um, and p police officers that were following as well. All right. And had you become aware of the likelihood of any potential attack before it took place? Uh, the, the only thing that was sus suspicious to me I guess was the man in the red jumpsuit was was lurking around like some of the co concrete plant pots that surround the statue in the middle of the, in the middle of the plaza in front of the courthouse. That's about it. All right. And what was the defendant doing during this attack? Um, I actually didn't see the, the the defendant out in the plaza. I think I I remember one altercation maybe where he was talking to Mr. Thoroughbred minutes and minutes before the the. Uh, uh, that Mr. Crane even arrived to to, to announce the results. Um, after the results were announced, I I, did, I didn't see the defendant until until we were inside the courthouse. All right, and what happened then with the defendant? Um, once the the <laughs> basically the, the the chaos inside of the courthouse ad unfolded, uh, Mr. Timo, uh, who who was the man in the the red jumpsuit, as I later learned, uh, a bunch of cops, a, a ton of civilians, uh, had all been incapacitated at the time. Um, the the EMS that were that were not injured and the cops that, that were not injured were trying to essentially s separate all of the victims out to assess them ind individually to see if they were okay. Um, it was at that point where it, it essentially the, the chaos was starting to sub subside into order um, that Mr. Charles approached the man in the red red jumpsuit and said, good, 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 jo good job. You did exactly what I paid you for. Um, after that, he, he approached Mr. Thoroughbred and said, I, I, t I told you something would happen, Max. I, I, I made this happen. And I just actually want to read something out. And if you could tell me whether or not this is an accurate representation of what the defendant said to Mayor Thoroughbred. I'll quote here. You know, Max, it was going to be way more climactic than that. You hear Objection, Your Honor. That? Hearsay, speculation. Uh, well, I don't know. Go ahead. He said, You're "I'm going to hearsay and speculation." He said, "I'm going to read an accurate. I'm going to read an accurate depiction, and you tell me if this is what it sounds like." Uh, well, Your and Honor. After I... the stop, after the quote, Mr. Oliver did say, or Mr. Hall did say, "Did you hear that?" Um, so it went as much as to be speculation. He's asking if he heard that quote. Uh, as opposed to hearsay, your client is here. Your client can't speak against it, so it's okay, not hearsay right. either. Okay, what about testifying and leading? He's testifying mm. for him and by letting him, by telling him. I wouldn't him. say testifying, but leading, yeah, that's getting somewhere. Okay. Um, he is he is also reading. Is this in the report or? Your Honor, I, the specifics of where I'm getting this is in the report. It is one of the videos. I'm happy to specify which one. This is, is a quote the, from that. Rather than have him watch it and... It's a quote from the video. 
That's right. Uh, I'm asking him whether or not he heard the defendant say. I don't trust Oliver. I, we, I, Your Honor, to be honest with you, I, 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 I that's. I'd rather have him watch the video. Uh, Do you have the timestamp of the video? Fuck all. I, I'd have to grab it. Grab the timestamp. Let's get him to listen to it and then see if that's the correct quote. All right, so it's going to be one more. Uh, go to the People's A and then look at the, the riot footage. Or actually, it should be also, uh, if I recall correctly. You can get it there. Should well. be where? Uh, Which one is it? It should be, it's either in the report or it's in the People's D. It's the, the footage of the riot. Um, I, I see riot okay, footage what's the time listed, stamp? listed in the report. That's exactly right. It's called riot footage. What's the timestamp? What's the timestamp? Uh, 120, and then watch for roughly a minute or so. I told you it was gonna happen, Max! Oh my fucking god. You know, you know, Max, Max, it was gonna be way more climactic with that. I ran out of I ran out of planes, Max, so this is. It's 11. Oh my god. I finished watching that, that snippet, uh, Mr. Holm. <laughs> Oopsie! Oh my! It was gonna be a gun. <laughs> Oopsie! Oh my god! So it, so it was that. <laughs> We're good to go, Your Honor. Can you repeat the question, please? Yeah. The defendants say, you know, Max, it was going to be way more climactic than that. No, no, I'm saying the question for the, uh, for the prosecutor. What was the prosecutor that, asking? That was the question. Did you did you hear the defendant say, and I quote, you know, Max, it was going to be way more climactic than that. Mr. Acker, you can answer. Can I have a sidebar really quick? Okay. okay. Never mind. Don't answer. Should I go to the corner? Yeah, go to the corner, honor? please. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> I... I wasn't he incapacitated when this whole thing happened? Who? I, Jonathan? You can hear him in the video talking. It doesn't matter. Wasn't he? He was incapacitated. You, so you don't, uh, you don't even see him in the video? Well, why don't... Why don't we ask him that? Yeah, it's, it, yeah, that's something you should ask him on the stand and then, like, so can complete he, the me, trustworthiness of his statements. Can he strike that and then ask those two questions and if he wasn't incapacitated or not, then... You know what I mean? And then he'll... He's already testified hey, uh, doing it though. Even if hey Rami, what you're uh, you're asking him to essentially hurt his own witness statements as opposed to hurting his case. This is no no no. That... I, I understand. I understand. I'm okay. just when you go for you're, you're asking somebody that was incapacitated. All right, whatever. All right, it's it's fine. Go ahead. That's the question for you to ask on cross. That's what I'm saying. All right. Yeah. Just prove him. All right, right, you're good, Mr. Acker. Yes, Your Honor. What's that about? All right, sorry. Uh, was that an accurate quotation of what the defendant said? Uh, according to the video, yes. I didn't hear it. I was looking for an officer to try to convince them. To ultra rare W, Charles, John. Based on what I ultra just rare. about him making it happen. Yeah, I want to confirm. Were you injured in this attack? I was not. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, yeah. uh... Yeah, you just said you were trying to find an officer to arrest Bobby. Ch Why? Uh, be because I I had just heard him shout. Uh, I believe it. You could actually hear me in the footage asking. Um, be because Bobby had just said I, I it, it shouted uh, to the effect of I, I told you it would happen. I made this happen. The instant he said that, a uh, red flag tripped basically that I, I needed to go find a police officer and re relay what I had heard immediately because it may have been, it may have been lost in the chaos. Um, I see. And and I didn't hear the the, the follow on because I heard that red flag. Went to go went to go find an officer. 
I see. And did you become aware of any other reason to believe that the defendant conspired with Timo in this attack other than what you heard from his own mouth? Um, other than what I heard from his own mouth and where he said he, he paid Timo to do it and where he was bragging to Mr. Thoroughbred in the, 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 the plot, the, excuse me, the plaza of the, or no, not the plaza, the foyer. There we go. Excuse me. The foyer of the, um, city hall after the, after the chaos had concluded, uh, nothing else inside of city hall. Only what happened in the hospital thereafter. Uh, objection, your honor, perjury. I, he's literally lying and he just admitted that he lied. Uh, he said well, he said that he didn't hear any of that, but yet he went and told the officer that he did hear it. Um, he also stated that he... Actually, you know what? I'll just rest it at that. Go ahead. Do you want me to respond to that, Your Honor? Okay. I just threw that, uh, I just well, threw that one out there. Well, I'd say that perjury isn't a valid objection, so it should be over. I know what objections are. Thank you. Uh, other than that, the witness has not perjured himself. They can certainly cross-examine him on his truthfulness. And I, again, as I previously said, I'm, I'm going to introduce evidence to support his truthfulness. Um, but the, 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 the testimony he's given, even if it were to be contradicting, which it isn't, then that's not perjury. Um, they can just cross-examine it on that fact. His testimony thus far has been what he's heard, what he experienced. Um, he, he hasn't lied. What would be a... Uh... What about strike his testimony then? Uh, hang on. Be careful, Bobby. I wouldn't want to chase somebody into the courtroom. <laughs> Sorry, Bobby. Uh, It's not just that, Chad. I have my notes right here. These are how I take my notes. Does that sound political to you? You said you didn't hear it. So right. how did you go to a oh. That was my questioning. <laughs> my URL notes. <laughs> you guys like the list of objections? In the questioning, it was the quote of... <laughs> you know, Max, it was going to be way more climatic than that. Um, when he asked, I'm search bar and Hall asked if, um, Acker heard that Acker said he didn't hear it because he's looking for cop <laughs> later on. Acker then states that, uh, other than hearing search about, bar notes. um, Charles, Mr. Charles bragging in the mayor and all of that stuff. And that he heard Charles say, and I quote, I told you this would happen. I made this happen. He did hear that. Now, the thing is. I, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Mr. Acker, did you or did you not hear the first quote of it was going to be way more climactic than that? I, I, I did not hear that specific phrase, Your Honor. But you heard him talk about, I told you this was going to happen, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, yes, that to Mr. Thoroughbred and the good job quote to, to Mr. Timo. Okay. Did you go to the cops before? So you went to the cops after you heard the uh, I told you this would happen? Correct. At, directly after he was bragging that to M Mr. Thurber, that, that's when I said, C can we arrest Bobby Charles on conspiracy? And I, I went to go find a cop, basically, to, to repeat that phrase. But that's that's where I drop off, and I I, I did not hear the, a more, the, the, the climactic statement. Okay. Rami... Yes, I just rewatched the video. He's, I told you this happened. I made this happen. That was said, and then about two to three seconds later, that's when the other the other quote came up about it's gonna be it was gonna be way more climactic than that. I believe that Mr. Acker did run away after the first quote was said, and then he didn't hear the climactic part. Okay, if you believe that, Your Honor, that's that, okay. It is what it is. I personally don't believe that. I. Uh... You know, he's not seen in the video, though. and the docket is public knowledge, so he could have just went and watched the, you know, I, I understand, you know, he has a known mm -hmm. felon for obstruction of justice, uh, you know, Your Honor, I, and he wasn't even seen in the video, or heard, at all, 
Okay. So, um, you know, I, I understand what you're something saying. Something's not added just, up here, you know? I don't, I don't want you giving out your argument to get rid of a witness. Of course. I already have a whole lot of questions. Across. Of course. Don't That's worry. That's fine. I just don't want you saying all this out loud before you get of to cross. Uh, cross. Of course. So it's going to be overruled at this time. Go on with your questioning. Thank you. Uh, you mentioned that the defendant talked about paying Timo to do this. Uh, where was that that he said it? Uh, when it comes to the, the paying him came up in two, two instances. At the city hall, he said, I, I paid you. Uh, you did exactly what I paid you to do. And then at the hospital, he said it only cost 12 rubles to do this. I see. And what happened from sort of start to finish at the hospital? Um, so we were, uh, Mr. Chitowski and I, and somebody that I did not know, I, I believe it's Mr. Osvaldo now, but I'm not for certain, uh, and Mr. Glorion, um, he, he has a government name, but I don't, I don't recall it off the top of my head. I only know him as Glorion. Uh, we started walking over from, from City Hall to the hospital, uh, and Mr. Charles was in a broken down black ingot, looked like one of the st standard rental cars. Um, after addressing <laughs> Mr. Charles, uh, he got out of the black ingot, and we all walked over to, to the hospital. Um, I believe Mr. Chitowski, Glorion, uh, were, were ribbing him a little bit about about whether or not he, he made this, this this whole incident unfold. And Mr. Charles proceeded into the emergency room, where, where all the, the, the beds are. I don't know if that's actually the emergency room or not. That's what, that's what I know it as. Uh, he went to appro approach Mr. Thoroughbred, who was surrounded by most of his other ca cabinet members, like Miss Miss Fitzpatrick. Um, who had been injured at I'm the listening, time. chat, relax. And that's when he gloated about it only co costing 12 rubles to uh, <laughs> make this whole event happen, that it was very cheap. Um, and it was, it, that, that's where the, t the 12 rubles statement came in. I see. And was the defendant armed? Um, I, I learned later, yes, that, that he, after he pulled out his, his, his hunting rifle briefly um, and then, then put, put it back into a sling. Why did he pull out a hunting rifle? Um, after he had said that it had cost 12 rubles. Objection, Your Honor. He just said he didn't even know until later that he had a hunting rifle. Okay? And now he's saying, why did he pull out the hunting rifle? So he's given a testimony on something that he doesn't know about, other than that he turned that he learned later. He, no, Rami, he's saying that he didn't. The guy was armed until he pulled it out. And now Oliver's asking, why did he pull it out? Mr. Acker, go on. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, okay. Um, I the the event leading up to to Mr. Charles pulling out the, the hunting rifle was after he had stated the the the, the twelve rubles statement. Um, Mr. Shutowski, basically everybody who was surrounding Mr. Thoroughbred at the time started asking him what he what he meant by that. Um, and, and then um, that's when Mr. Uh, Charles said, said to to the effect of. Uh, I'm feeling pressed. I'm scared. I have a gun. He backed away, pulled out the gun briefly once he had some space, and then he then he put it back. Back into his sling. And I want to clarify as well. Did you work on the Thoroughbred campaign? Uh, yes. All right. So do you have general knowledge as to who was in support or opposed to the election of Mr. Thoroughbred? Uh, there's quite an extensive list of, of adversaries and supporters, yes. All right. Was the defendant an adversary? Uh, yes, the, the, the defendant was adversarial pretty much throughout the, the, the entire campaign. All right, and do you have knowledge of the relationship between the defendant and Mayor Thoroughbred? Um, I'm sorry, re repeat the question? Yeah, do you have knowledge of the relationship between the defendant and Mayor Thoroughbred? Objection, um, Your Honor, speculation. He's asking if he has the knowledge. He's not asking to speak on it. He's just saying if he actually knows anything. Uh, Yes. I see. And how would you describe that relationship? Objection, Your Honor, speculation. Uh, do you want me to respond, Judge? Uh, no, speculation is going to be overruled, but I am going to put that on Lax Foundation. Just saying, yes, I have knowledge does not actually mean he has knowledge. You need to go into that a little bit more. I'm happy to. How did you obtain this knowledge? Um, from what I recall, Mr. Charles was initially supporting Mr. Vivek 
Ramaswamy. He had done so at, at multiple different different ca campaign events where Mr. Thoroughbred and Mr. R Ramaswamy had encountered each other. And uh, multiple times when I was su supporting Mr. Thoroughbred during his ca campaigning season, uh, Mr. Charles uh, accosted Mr. Thoroughbred, uh, generally heckling him, c calling him a, a, a crime family mayor, uh, re repeating Mr. Ramaswamy's taunts of, you know, me me melatonin max, max GPT, uh, th things of that nature. I see. So Mr. Charles didn't want thoroughbred as mayor. Is that what no. I'm to understand? C correct. He supported another candidate. All right. And I mean, based on those statements, did it seem like Mr. Charles is going to take action to effectuate his desires? Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. Well, Your Honor, I'm asking the witness based on his direct observations of the defendant heckling exactly mayor thoroughbred and i'm asking him whether or not based on his observations and his knowledge whether or not he believed that, that the defendant had intended to again perpetrate an attack in the mayor I mean, that's certainly not speculatory that's 100 percent speculatory but we can also right. add a leading on top of that i'm gonna i'm gonna sustain for speculation i'm going to reword it mr acker at any point in time were there any comments made by the defendant that led you to believe he was going to act on Mr. Thoroughbred if he were to become mayor? Not that I p p particularly recall, Your Honor. It was Thank all, you. all heckling, uh, all heckling, not generally violent, calling him crime family head, uh, yeah, food, Max GPT, Melatonin Mac, a lot of general insults and heckling, but I don't have any more food? recall any specific instances of <laughs> threatening violence. Do you have food, oh. food ma'am? Yes. Yep. Can I get some? I see, I see. And uh, there was a rivalry. Or was there a rivalry, rather? Thank you. Um, b between which parties? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Between the defendant and the mayor. Um, I don't believe it was It was ever a p political rivalry. I don't think Mr. <laughs> Charles was ever a candidate for mayor. Uh, this, guy's, but, this guy's on our side. Uh, <laughs> socially, generally, yes. <laughs> so they often went back yeah. and forth in an aggressive manner. I see. And that was because of the defendant's support of a, an opposing political candidate. Uh, objection, understand? Your Honor. Uh, giving testimony for the uh, witness. Uh, it would be leading, which is sustained. Thank you. I, I'm so happy to rephrase, Your Honor. Did the defendant... It. Did the defendant... Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to remember my question. You're asking if was... it was political after he just said it wasn't. So go ahead, ask the question, because I'm going to object to asking it. That's not what I previously asked, you know. But anyway, uh, Mr. Mr. Acker, was the the defendant... Oh, I'm going to move on, actually. Thank you. So, Mr. Acker... <laughs> we got him again! At any point regarding your testimony at trial today? Objection, Your Honor. Facts, not evidence. Well, Thank you, Your Honor. Scope. Um, this is a direct. Go ahead. Relevance, scope. Not really a fact and evidence. This is real speculatory. Uh, I mean, go ahead. Well, it, it's not speculation because he's asking if he was approached. So if he was approached, he would know for a fact. Relevance, sorry. And um, scope. There's no scope. It's direct. He's creating his own scope. Yeah. Uh, as for relevance, why is this relevant to this trial and the charges being levied against Mr. Charles? Yeah, absolutely, Your Honor. I'm trying to bolster the witness's credibility. Since it's previously been attacked by the defense, I'm trying to introduce evidence <laughs> that he has previously been coerced into testifying adversely. Uh, but even in despite of that, that coercion he is testifying truthfully today uh, yeah, that's the point of this. your your honor first of all there's no evidence that this even occurred okay um this was not brought up at the start of the court trial um and if that is the case technically isn't he conflicting the witness then can i respond to it well hang on i want to hear rami's argument for conflicting the witness well if you no, know I'll strike that one. I'll withdraw that one. Okay, yep. Uh, I, 
I look. What base? What evidence does he have that this is even look, occurred? This, Mr. Hall, you can skip this line of questioning. I understand the worries behind it. I understand what you're trying to do. I have his testimony from a trial before. I can tell what lines up and what doesn't up to this point. You're good. Thank you, Your Honor. I understand. I would like to continue if possible, though. I think it's quite pertinent that... Uh, Your Honor, Your Honor you just gave a record. ruling in your own court. I respect your ruling, but I, I would ask you to reconsider. In yet face. Mr. Hall, I have no reason to believe he's lying, that he's changing his answers. Is there any other reason that you need to go through this line of questioning? No, no, I'm happy. I'll, I'll okay. conclude. Thank You're you good so to move much, on. Mr. I would also I would like to strike that from the line of questioning. It, the question wasn't ever answered because oh, you objected, true. so true. it's fine. Sorry. Wait, was that? That was direct. Okay, yeah, redirect. Uh, recross. Oh. How, John, how, how long have you known Bobby Charles? Um, I would, I would say it was it was almost immediately after I I, I came to Los Santos, maybe maybe a month or two ago. Hey, what's your opinion of him? Um, in general, I believe that he he is pretty standoffish, obnoxious. Uh, but th th that's also from the adversarial lens of being part of Mr. Thurbert's campaign. Rami, give me give me one quick second. Hang on. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. What is your relationship with Bobby Charles? Um. Only, only from an adversarial uh, lens, from from being a part of Mr. Thoroughbred's campaign team. I, I've seen multiple encounters between uh, Mr. Thoroughbred and Mr. Bobby Charles. But when it comes to he and I directly, um, I, I I don't believe any relationship actually exists. Um, okay. I've only ever been an observer. Okay, and um, have you ever had any negative interactions with Bobby Charles? Uh, just just from observing him heckling and being obnoxious to, to Mr. Thurber that I recall. Heckling, being obnoxious, so you don't like him? I mean, he, I, I've never seen a good side of him. Okay. <laughs> would you say you and Bobby are friends? No, <laughs> I would not say that. Okay. So you would say you don't like him? I'm just... just I, I don't have I don't have a good opinion of him. No. Okay, so you don't like him, Objection. Rami. If you ask the same question okay, again, right. I swear to God. Okay, okay, okay. Have you ever made a fun of Bobby Charles? Have I ever made fun of Bobby Charles? Is that the question? Have you ever made fun of Bobby Charles? Um, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, 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 you. <laughs> oh, okay. are you witness tampering right now? Oh yeah, good one, guys. Your Honor, he oh, was a muscle God. spasm. Sorry about that. Here you go. Here you go. He did something. Did have something you ever? In the water. Have you ever made fun of Bobby Charles? I I may have in the past when he was heckling Mr. Thoroughbred, but okay. I don't remember the specific interactions. Okay. And uh... <laughs> Rami, I'm gonna pause you right there. What? <laughs> The fact that you had to cut yourself off giggling tells me you're about to say some stupid ass shit right now. And I swear to God, if whatever nest comes out of your mouth, I'm going to lose my mind. Okay, give me a sec. Let me just collect my, yeah, uh -huh. my, my yeah, line okay. of questioning yep. here. Collect yourself, yep. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 you got me. Okay, okay. Um, have you threatened anything violent to Bobby Charles? <laughs> Not that I recall, no. Okay. 
Does it make you happy that Bobby could go to jail for something like this? Uh, no, it doesn't, it doesn't make me happy. Why not? Uh, anybody committing a, a severe ca capital offense and potentially being jailed for a, a, what should be a majority of their lifespan, it is, it, it's, it's not anything to be joyful over. It's, okay. the, per, 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 it's the pursuit of justice. Justice is blind, whether we like it or like it or not. Okay, and um, give me one second. <laughs> give me one second. Fuck, I was gonna ask him a question. I forgot I was gonna ask him when I get when he got up here, chat. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good one. Did you respect the pursuit of justice when you obstructed it, Jonathan? Yes. Did you respect the pursuit of justice when you obstructed it? That is a hard question to answer without context. Um, the fe the felony obstru obstruction of justice charge came from accidentally injuring an officer who who was in pursuit. It was not from from lying or concealing concealing the truth there. Well, it wasn't accidental if it was felonious. Right? Uh, no, it was it was because the root, root cause was felonious. I was attempting to harm somebody who had harmed okay. others. I believed I was okay. empowered by stand your ground, but I but I was not. I was mistaken. So you would do it again? No, I oh, I've reflected just, upon that. Oh, you just said you believed that you uh, believed that you stood your ground, so you would do it again. I, I, to go ahead. Uh, in, in, incorrect. I have talked to officers about, about that situation and a few other attorneys about why I felt... The yes or no question, would you do it again? Objection, relevance. Your Honor, this I've heard... Line, it, entire line of questioning about the incident has nothing to do with the witness's truthfulness. The, asking about the charge certainly could be, but asking him, him about what the incident actually happened there when he knows that it has nothing to do with the witness's likeliness or truthfulness. Your Honor, I'm establishing character. The witness is not on trial. His character is no, of no relevance. It's actually, it's much of relevance, Your Honor. You guys okay. know for... Go ahead. Yeah, you, you got what I'm trying to get out here. Um... I'm inclined to agree with prosecution. However, what I'm going to do is, uh, Rami, I'm going to give you a little bit of... Uh... Black, you got two questions to make your point. Um, he's already answered this question saying he wouldn't do it again. You have two questions okay. after that. If you're not making your point, we're moving on. Okay. Go ahead. Wait a second. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to ask this. Mm -hmm. I want to be like... Also, if it's objected to and sustained, that counts as one of your questions. Think carefully. What's his name? John. I asked you, would you do it again? Um, Jonathan, you know, commit a felony. You said no. Well, you did do it again. You then proceeded to get charged with assault with a deadly weapon. Objection, counsel's testifying. Is that right? Hang, hang on a minute. Again, Mr. Hall, you're very quiet over there. We can barely hear you on the other side of the courtroom. The objection to counsel's testifying. Rami, I understand that you're trying to like do like a flow a flow chart kind of thing to like get to your point to your question, uh, for context purposes. Let's add, let's try to ask a question that's not like you know repeating everything that's been said. Okay. Okay. John, would you trust somebody who has obstructed the cause of justice? I, yes or I no? Want to know, I would want. Yes to know or the no? Context. Yes or no, John? Hmm. I don't feel I can give an accurate answer with yes or no. Hmm. Now why is that? Because it would all, all depend on the context. I understand that now after being charged with it myself. John, where were you in the riot video? 
Um, I, I have not fully watched that Riot video. I, I, I don't know if I was ever captured in it. Well, how come I had never seen you in the entire Riot video? I haven't even seen you on the scene in this entire video. Um, hmm. So, so, sorry, I was just pausing for a second. Um, I believe I'm heard m multiple times. And if I recall correctly, there there is a section where I am seen c climbing up the stairs to just a little bit to get at Miss Fitzpatrick to move her out of harm's way. Uh, I I believe I am spotted briefly there, but but I would have to review that evidence to to I would have to review that evidence to confirm. But I am heard multiple times, it, uh, especially in the snippet that Mister Mister really? um, uh, Paul had pointed out. Yes. So you did watch the video, right? Um, I I have. Watched the portion Mr. Hall asked me to. Right. I believe mm -hmm. I've reviewed portions of it as it's been okay. shared with so me. So you watched the but video, it... but you just told me that in your, your you told your uh, the prosecution that you didn't watch the video. I don't think I've seen the whole thing holistically. I've seen snippets. That's it. So you've seen the video and you haven't seen the video. Which one is it, John? Have you seen the video? Yes or no? Not in its entirety. Have you seen the video, John? Yes or no? <laughs> Not in its entirety. But you just said context matters. At this point. So you're changing your answers on me? Stop. I can kind of rebuttal to his objection. Everybody stop. Go ahead. Your Honor, he just said he's even watching it right now. Okay. <laughs> Prosecution, your your thing was badgering. Yeah, and ask an answer. Okay, Rami, he said not in its entirety. He's watched snippets. Let's let's move on. I, I, also, that you're getting very you're getting dangerously close to badgering. Okay, respectfully, I would like to put you, a motion to strike this entire witness's testimony from the record. Okay, what is your reasoning? Because in our testimonies from the prosecution and in mine, he says that he didn't watch the video and that he gave an honorable testimony on scene. We are now seeing here that he told me through his own testimony in the past three questions that he has watched the video. Bits and portions holistically. Explain to me how somebody holistically watches a video. I don't know what that means. Okay. He's been given false testimony this entire time. Contradictory and inconsistent. He hears something, then he doesn't. Can I respond, Your Honor? All right, what's your rebuttal? Yeah, with respect to the motion to strike, I mean, ultimately, the witness testified that he didn't watch the entire video. He can say that he didn't watch the video and it wouldn't wholly be wrong because he didn't watch the entire thing. The defense counsel is asking him over and over again to try and fabricate a inconsistency in the witness's testimony. That doesn't exist. There is no inconsistency. The witness was there. He heard what happened. The video that was uh, that we're talking about, the witness has already answered like five times at this point that he watched portions of it. He didn't watch all of it. And he couldn't give an accurate representation of the entirety of the video. That's what he means when he says that he didn't watch the video when he's asking about these other questions. So striking his testimony when there is not any inconsistency, of course there's not any validity to the motion. Your Honor, he's, he's, his testimony changed after he rewatched the video. It's literally been tainted. He heard one line, but he just said he watched bits and pieces of it. And now the prosecution wants to play a semantical objection. He wants to speak, he needs to speak the whole truth, not parts of it. And why didn't he state that in his previous testimony to the prosecution? When, when did he mention that he watched the video of the prosecution? I'm looking through my notes. I don't see when, him when, he, it, when he was talking about uh, uh, the, I have it right here. 
when he was talking about when, when we did the sidebar of um what was the sidebar about i forgot um it was about well your honor if i can clarify on direct i asked the witness to clarify if he heard the defendant say a quote from right and when it was when we took and that two minute was, stance to go watch the 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 remember we took that yes, two minute thing to right. go watch the video he said that he didn't see the video Yo, chat is funny as fuck. <laughs> oh, you got me perjury. <laughs> you guys can hear what I was saying. Okay, he said earlier that he, um, like, it was said that he didn't watch it, and then prosecution had him watch a snippet of the video, like a minute where quotes were made and he wanted to confirm the quotes and then now he's saying he's only seen snippets, right? Oh, he's saying he's seen bits and pieces of it holistically. Holistically, okay. Which means he's seen the whole thing, bits and pieces of it. Also not, like not, just a, not just a one to two minute portion. Uh, well, not a one to two minute portion of a three minute video. Okay, you want to add? Yeah, I just want to add, Your Honor, that this should be for cross-examination. They can cross-examine him on inconsistencies in his testimony. <laughs> okay. But there needs to be an extreme reason uh, and a lot of inconsistencies for the court to declare right. that the entirety of the testimony has been okay. inconsistent and thus completely unreliable. Your Honor, we've already... examined him on it. But ultimately, there is not enough here for the court to strike his record, even if it is. Res res Respectfully, Your Honor, that's not his decision to come up with. That's your decision to come up with. Okay. And. Okay. He just proved it to me. Rami. Yeah, go ahead. Mr. Hacker. <laughs> yes, have you right. seen any part of the video before today you say no um, after any part do you want a yes or no question or clarification i want a yes or no question before the trial today before rami has questioned you have you seen any portion of the video yes yeah there we go yes <laughs> when <laughs> uh, it was when i was t telling miss fitzpatrick everything that I had heard after everything had concluded. Uh, she, she told me that Miss Ursula had captured it all on, on video, and she showed me a snippet of that video pr proving its existence. It was whenever, okay. when everybody and, was running uh, into the, okay. the city okay. hall. <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'll, I'll let you handle this one, Your Honor. I'll let you handle this one, yeah. Rami, or Rami. Mr. Acker, Have you seen the video in its entirety? No. What parts of the video have you seen? I ha I have seen the very beginning, which is what Mitch, what Miss Fitzpatrick showed me. It was maybe up to, to fifteen seconds uh, after I realized that it, it had captured the events. I stopped stopped watching it. And was like, oh, okay. I, I just I texted her back saying, oh, this exists, and then then I'm not I'm not needed. Your Honor, that... um, and the only other snippet I've seen was what Mister Hall, Hall directed me to watch. Your Honor, that contradicts what he just said on the stand of him saying that he's seen it holistically, which means what he's does he seen... mean by you've seen it holistically? Uh, I I don't recall saying that. I thought I said I, that I have not seen it holistically. I've only seen bits and pieces. How he said. The fact that I've gotten misspoke, this far, I, Your Honor, is very obvious. I misspoke. I apologize. It's no way to prove that. He's already lied.
He, he's or it, it's tainted. He's already tainted. I got it. I got it. He's not tainted. Any witness in this case could have watched any of the evidence. It was all open. Except for the medical records of Timo. He just is what you want to know how, you want to lie about what he's seen or heard is I have one to... more thing you want you, you as well is he literally okay. told me where he was in the video where he tried saying where he was in the video okay got it so how does he know that if he's only seen 15 seconds of it he also watched it when Mr. Law had him review the video right when he was listening for and he wasn't in that one him, minute I, Rami okay sorry go ahead I got it all right I got you I got you Ready to take this L? Ready to take this L? Rami, go to your side. Yeah, I was just asking for food. He was asking me if I was ready to take the <laughs> L, Your Honor. I never said that, Your Honor. Your Honor, I heard it as well, too. Of course. Coincidentally, of Stop course you did. Acting like children, please. Uh, speaking of food, Your Honor, may I eat some fries? Yeah, eat. <laughs> Thank you. The deal is. <laughs> Mr. Acker, going forward, you're only to testify How? to the things you saw on direct. Oh my God, what? We don't you to know it, that though. The only things you saw were when he asked you to review it, nothing else, you understand? Correct, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Your Honor, can I, can Honor, we, go ahead. Can we strike his testimony up until now? Uh, All of it? Yeah, I mean, we don't know what if he's lying or not. Oh, can we have a sidebar? Strike, we could do this in a sidebar. I can strike all of his questioning in regards to what you've asked him about what he's seen on the video, if you'd like. Yeah, that's fine. Of what the prosecution asked him. Mm. We, we, we don't know if he's lying or not. We, we, we don't know. I'm sorry, Your Honor. It, it's on the defense to show that he's lying, not for us to automatically assume. We've already that proven lying. that he's lied. It's already been established. He's yet again obstructed justice. And, I've, and I already did. That's the whole reason why we're even in this it's a little predicament Honor, right now. It is not true that the, the, the witness has lied. He and literally he, just admitted it to the judge and confirmed it. No, he clarified what he testified to. He right. didn't lie. Really? He said he's never seen the video before. And then he said he just saw it holistically. Then he said he, he saw he only a minute time. of it. And then he said he only saw 15 seconds of it. It's been four different answers. And... Literally, in the judge's ruling, he just admitted that he he said he's only going to answer questions of the one-minute testimony. Connor, can we sidebar? I would love to. I just want to... I just... Yeah. <laughs> Your Honor, I, I think there's been a grave misunderstanding of the testimony thus far. Huh. When his first testified... That he didn't watch the entirety of the video because that, that was the main contention. Now he's saying that he has watched parts of it, which is consistent with what he's been saying all along. If I played these semantics in court, then I, I, could, I could bring in 45 other witnesses to this court case. I would have motioned for another 30 fucking names. Like, if that's what we're really doing here. What are you talking about? They have not shown that he's lied, Your Honor. So there's he said he no didn't see the video at all. What are you talking about? He literally said he didn't see the video at all. That is not specifically what he said. What he said was that he really? didn't watch the entirety of the video. Okay. Yeah. You can't move goalposts, uh, Oliver. You can't just move the goalposts. Bits and pieces can be any bits and pieces of the entire thing. And he's clearly seen it. Let's say, let's say for a moment that he's seen it. There's not any evidence that the video... It, it, it's not a question if he's... Yes, evidence. there is. Yes, there is. It doesn't matter if he's seen her or not. The issue is that he literally has been lying under court, under oath, saying that he didn't see it at all, given a false testimony, which is already proven in court, that he doesn't already like Bobby. Your Honor, to be honest with you, this is the entire reason why I wanted to introduce evidence to bolster his credibility. because he's And he's had access to the entire video as well, by the way. It taints his entire recollection of the entire day. Rami, every witness here has access to that video. No, no, but like, okay. 
No, I'm trying to understand your point. Yeah, yeah. No, no like, explain. I'm trying to understand your point. The guy said he hasn't seen anything up until this courtroom. Then you, in his testimony, then you asked him just now if he has. Then he said yes. Before he said he's only seen bits and pieces of it. And then and he's seen it holistically in his, in his thing. Then you asked him directly, what have you seen? He says, oh, I was only watching 15 seconds of it until I started seeing that it was in my involvement. You know what's funny? He said he saw it when he saw Fitzpatrick, right? Which was right after the entire time. Charges weren't pressed until uh, the day after the 24-hour hold on the docket. So how did so he magically stopped 15 seconds of the entire uh, video and didn't see the whole thing? Magically, knowing right, that it's going to go to uh, uh, a docket the next day, he's a, he can tell time now? He's, 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 he, let, me, let me think for a second. Yeah. I, I, I wish I could tell the future. I'll bring him along, honestly. Yeah, I mean, if we're understanding the timeline here, the defendant was arrested on, on one day, and a few days later, the docket was, uh, was posted. Uh, and this, from my understanding, this was released publicly, this, this footage. Uh, I think it was a, a some reporter. Oh yeah, yeah please. Saying. Yeah, you're proving my point. Exactly. Access to it, and that he, he exactly stopped watching because he knew his involvement. Yeah, magically he stopped watching because he knew his involvement in the video. Twenty four hours later, only to know that in a day that uh, this would happen. He just said that Siobhan gave it to him, Mrs. Fitzpatrick, after the after Ursula came out with it. Correct. And then the, the, this docket, it got put up on the docket the day after. So he magically stopped watching 15 seconds before he even knew that anybody was getting put on the docket for terrorism or anything. He just magically watched it. I stopped watching after 15 seconds. Yeah, I'm just going to magically stop watching the news because I know it might involve me in a later crime. Assuming that any of this matters, it was widely known the defendants were arrested for terrorism and... No, it, there. not at he the time of him it. watching, which is... He provided a statement to law enforcement. It's reasonable for him to think that he's going to be called as a It doesn't witness. matter. He, what, he just said in court said otherwise. He lied. Okay. That, and the fact that it's gotten this far, even, like, we, we all know it. If it was very clear cut, if it was black and white, then it would have been it. Clearly, there's a gray area here. And if it's even 1%, his testimony is gray. That's not good at all. He's not telling the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me, so help me Sab. And, Your Honor, it's our position that they can cross-examine him on that fact, and they can bring up inconsistent testimony. Uh, but he didn't perjure himself it is the main problem here. <laughs> and they're trying to strike his testimony to say conclusively that he did. And that he didn't. He literally said, you can see me in the video and you can hear my voice. You can. How, and how would he know that if he only didn't see 15 Rami's seconds of not it? negating. He's not arguing the fact you can't see or hear those things. Yeah. He's, Rami is saying, how does he know that if he's never watched the video like he's claiming? Right. I'm trying to prove he's that he's watching. lying. I'm not trying to prove that he's seen. I don't care if he's seen the video or not. We're not arguing if he's seen the video or not. He's literally changing the answers as he's, answer, as he's responding to on the stand. I understand that portion. And I had him watch part of the video where you can clearly hear him. Bro. You're not getting what we're trying to say, or what I'm trying to say, at least. So, what you're telling me as a prosecutor, you're saying it's okay to really change your answers out in the court, on the stand? That is not what I'm saying. Um, okay. Goodness gracious, this is, this is pain. This is annoying. And then he came, and then he tried, oh, don't even get me started. I'm gonna, and then he, what, he said somebody tried telling him to not Rami, show up. I, I get it, man. You don't yeah. have to. Yeah, all right. Don't, don't. Pop an aneurysm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, if I get if Jonathan gets thrown out of court, bro, this is the ma most massive W possible.
Just remember, innocent until proven guilty. Not guilty until proven innocent. What? Don't say what, you're trying to make you sound stupid. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? I just did some random shit. It's called credibility. Bro, I'm just be saying a bunch of random shit and seeing if it sticks. Okay, Rami, which which part of the yeah? Which which part of the testimony are you concerned with him lying about? James, so, so keep in mind when I when I when I ask you this, right? Because I know you're gonna say I don't of have the fucking. No, 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 no. I don't have your out. transcript. That's the thing. So I don't, I don't. No, no. I, yeah, go ahead. Hear me out. Hear me out, right? I'm, I know you're going to say all of it because he could have watched the video and he's, you know, right. painted and all that kind of stuff. So out of all the questions that Oliver asked him, what part of your questions are you concerned with? Not my question. Uh, the Bobby situation. Literally everything that has to do, everything that has to do with Bobby. So like him quoting the Bobby stuff. Yeah, everything. Okay. So. It, the concern that I have is that you're making a valid argument. That's okay. the, I'm concerned as well. Trust me. No, listen. You're making a valid argument. The concern is that even if he was tainted or whatever, Oliver had him watch the video to confirm those quotes. But what so he said he to me tainted, in court. Okay, right, 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 right. Agreed, yeah, yeah, okay, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Even, yeah. If what, even if that's the case, what he said to me completely has contradicted what he said what I, who, he said to Oliver in, in Oliver's direct a completely different okay and if he lied once how do we not know he's been lying this entire time and if that's the case why didn't the prosecution say that then uh, which part about him not seeing the video the entire the whole entire video Okay. Good one, good one, Oliver. I thought we were supposed to play on a fair lot, a fair playing field. What are you talking about? You... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ask what? Say it again to try to make me sound stupid. When you're you're the only one magically who has now magically has no idea what's going on. Coincidental, magically, you're the only one now that has no idea what's going on, Oliver. You're you're we're, we're on Mars. You're on Earth, magically. So I, I hear what you're saying, but you're saying I should have brought what up? Right. Oliver, if you if you're if you're not keeping up at this point, I'm uh, I'm not gonna go back and uh, I can catch you up. Okay. I'll let you on the shows. I don't have anything else to add. To be honest with you. you don't want? I don't have anything else to add. I, I don't think that he uh, he perjured himself in any way. I think that the testimony, even if it was inconsistent. That they can just bring that up on cross, and it's our position we should be able to bolster his testimony uh, and be able to, again, show that he has a consistency for being truthful. And uh, I mean, again, the portion that they're asking to be stricken. Listen, uh, to, the yeah. judge right. said himself, Hollow literally just said it. We're not, it's concerning that he actually might be lying. I'm, I'm not gonna do it, but. A lying witness no. on the stand is literally grounds for dismissal. And I'm not going to try to First motion all, for one. That's not what I said. I said you're making a good point. Yeah. My concern that is he, if he is lying, if he is, Oliver still asked him to review the footage, which means he would have been able to quote it regardless if he was lying or telling the truth. Exactly. I'm not concerned that he is lying. I'm concerned that if the case that he is. Right. With that being said, hey, well, hold on. Can I say one more thing? I want to. Sure you want to say one more thing? Uh, I mean, I think it helps the case. To be honest with you, this is your out. Like what? Like you talking, or should I? Right, just go. Just go ahead. No, go like, ahead. Okay. The I am going to treat the witness and anything he says with a severe. A severely lowered. Uh, fucking throw him out, bro. Of credibility. 
I'm not going to dismiss what he says. I'm not going to strike it. However, I will be treating him as if he has a history. Essentially, if somebody has perjury, they're still going to be allowed to give testimony. However, we're going to be, it'll, it'll be taken very lightly. Now that like half of what they say or most of what they say will not be taken to heart or like it's like, you know, the gospel truth or anything like that. Can I ask one question? Okay. Is there, uh, and I'm asking. I'm not asking like in like a abrasive manner. I'm really asking. So how come we aren't throwing? How come you're motioning not to throw him out? Because the issue is that you are basing. So from my point of view, right? I'm not saying this is the case. I'm saying this is how it's coming off. Oh, okay. From my point of view, you're claiming that he is lying based on how do we know he's not? Because okay. if he, and the issue with that is, how do we know he is lying? How do we know he's not right. lying? How do we know somebody didn't commit the crime? Right. How do we know he right. did commit the crime? You know what I mean? So we can't base we can't base yeah. off of what if. Yeah. Uh but technically didn't he lie? <laughs> also, I want to point out that in my exam in when I my cross examine of him, he already admitted that he doesn't like Bobby Charles. And the motive is there for him to lie. And that and yeah, and, and that was the start of why his credibility would be going downhill. And then you've made the argument. That his testimony that, changed completely. That his testimony, like, is, is not that reliable, which means he's, like, you know... On no, 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 but what I'm trying to say... His credibility. Wait, wait, his testimony did change. It did. Yeah, yeah it, it did. did. Right. Like, it, when Bob... When, 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 uh... Uh... Oliver asked him in, in direct... Uh, did you watch the video? No, I didn't. Can you watch this video? Okay. And then he goes to you, and then he says, I watched bits and pieces. No, 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 no. No, that's not where he lied. It was the it was when he talked about his uh, recollection of what he heard about Bobby, and on top of that, he also stated that he when he said no, he didn't watch the video. You we at you asked him directly if he's seen the video, and he said yes, bits and pieces of it. Then you asked him what exactly has he seen, and then he said oh only fifteen seconds of it. When he said that he's seen fifteen seconds of it, he said that he asked Siobhan for the footage after the, it went down the day of. And the court, he wasn't, the court didn't go on the docket until the next day. So why would he only watch 15 seconds of the footage if nobody was getting charged with anything at the time? He magically just closed the, uh, the recording off and didn't watch the whole thing magically. But, okay. But that testimony was in relation to when he watched it before trial. Exactly. Yes, exactly. He told you he didn't watch it at all. So how, I'm going to magically just stop watching the half a clip because or, or a 10 seconds into a clip because it might involve me in a future court case that I don't know, I know nothing about. Okay. You get what I'm saying? For almost four hours now, I understand the argument you're making. He's staying. He's going to be held at a lower a lower level of credibility. <sighs> Bro, this is crazy. Not, Sounds good. I would like to introduce, again, evidence of his truthfulness. So uh, you, you no. said that you come no, down. I'm not doing this. It's, we're, I, I understand where you guys are coming from. I'm not going to keep reacting. All right, Mr. Acker, come over here. Rami, do you have any further questions for Mr. Acker? Um, no. I mean, if you want to announce it, of course, what we talked about in the. Can you? Uh. I'm... Yeah. So an argument was brought up that Mr. Acker's testimony wasn't exactly lining up with testimony giving during direct, as it wasn't questioning, or uh, sorry, during cross, and that there were uh, some inconsistencies. I didn't find it enough to completely. Uh, remove or strike his um, testimony. However, he is being held at a lower standard of credibility. There you go. Is there a redirect for Mr. Acker? No, we're all set, Your Honor. Okay, Acker, you're good. You can leave if you want. Actually, is he being recalled? No. Oh. Okay, you're good. good. Thank you, Your Honor. Is the mayor here? Are we finally able to get the mayor out of here so we can go do his fucking job? Hi. Huh. How much longer do we have left of this? How much? Is he going to give the verdict today or tomorrow? I don't know. Monday. Ah, oh, God. Prosecution, what is happening? Sorry, Your Honor. We uh, we have no further witnesses or evidence to present. Are you not calling the mayor? Uh, no, Your Honor. He's been sitting here all damn day waiting for you, man. <laughs> I, I informed him well. I've been, I've been here for three and a half hours. God. Well, you, you informed me at the three hour mark, Oliver, just so you know.
All right, Mr. Mayor, we'll how long? Mayor. No. Mr. Mayor, how long have you been here? Uh, three hours, sir. Have you been here since the beginning? Pretty much. I have. Yeah, no, all I'm simply was what was having to be a character witness. That's all. So, I mean, I'm, I, I'm not for, even going to question for the, re for the record, I don't even mind being here. It's not a problem. Um, and I don't mind being called up by the defense if that's what they want. The issue isn't so much as if you mind being here or not. It's so much as you were called as a witness and I told you yesterday you needed to show up. And I'm just now hearing three and a half hours in that you they don't need. Yeah, they called an audible last second. Now I don't want to call them. Do you need to call this witness prosecution? No, Your Honor. That's why I told him he could go because I, I didn't. Feel Twenty minutes ago. Okay. Since that's the case, and he waited this long to tell him, I am going to be allowing Rami to call him as a witness. Are you done with your witnesses? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Do you have any evidence you want to highlight? We do not. Okay. So, prosecution. Uh, I like to call it Maximilian Thoroughbred, the mayor of Los. Wait, oh, go ahead. Wait. <laughs> oh, come on, I was mid speech. I was... <laughs> I was... <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Are you done? Uh, yeah, we rest. Okay, you rest. Thank you. Who's your next witness? Who's your first witness? I'd like to call up the Honorable Mayor of Los Santos, Judge, uh, Your Honor, Mayor Maximilian Thoroughbred. <laughs> You got upset that I stopped you four hours before you were done? Oh my god, Rami. Hello, everyone. How you doing? Left arm up, please, Mr. Mayor. Can we trick solve Sorry, it? Sorry, yes, sir. You swear to speak the truth, the whole truth, nothing about the truth, under pains and penalties of perjury, so help you, my man. Yes. All right. You don't have to sit if you don't want to, by the way. Thank you for I'm your I'm going to sit on the back here. Dab, okay. I'm just very Thank sorry you. for uh, taking up your time, and then the prosecution did this to you. It's okay. Uh, Maximilian Thoroughbred, were you there uh, at the time of the town hall of this incident occurring? You talking about the uh, the protest? Correct. Yep. Um, have you gone along with Bobby Charles in your time here in Los Santos? Wait, hang on. No. What, Mr. Thoroughbred? You're thinking about the wrong incident. Oh, this is the day of your inauguration. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, All right, yeah, Robbie, so go ahead. I I was there for that one. Okay, uh, have you gone along with Bobby Charles? No. Okay. Do you believe that he committed an, ex uh, an act of terrorism on you? No. They know. Objection. 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 Okay, what? Uh, Mr. Hall? Uh, calls for conclusion, Your Honor. He's asking the witness to come to a legal conclusion as to the defendant's guilt. I'll, ch I'll, ch I'll change my answer up. Or, you know, opinion of a layperson would be good, too. I'll change my answer. Were you You're, willing to... Uh, what? Uh, can I change... I mean, my question is... Sorry, can I change my question? Okay. Uh, Dab, were you... Um, were you willing to pardon Bobby Charles on a terrorism uh, charge? Objection, I'm sorry. Wait, are you saying were you or would you? Um... I mean, also, by the way, he is. A... <laughs> go. No, Actually, you know don't what? Bring up, uh, <laughs> don't bring it up. Actually, don't, you know what? You know what? Me. Let me change my line of questioning. And would, by the way, would. <sighs> okay, we're crossing that out. Would you pardon Timo and Bobby Charles on the terrorism excessive terrorism charges if you could? Objection. Actually, I'll withdraw the addition. Um. I would, and let me tell you why. Uh, okay. They are, they are. Well, Timo is extremely mentally troubled to the point where I did not even recognize him as a person. And Bobby Charles is probably not able to tie his own shoes. Um, it, it, I don't see either of them as a threat. And even though Bobby Charles paid Russian Timo fourteen rubles to have me killed, I just allegedly. They're so, Allegedly, they they're they're so small and insignificant that it's kind of more like a uh, it's like a slapstick comedy routine than an actual threat on my life. Now, uh, Dab, do you consider yourself an expert on terrorism? I mean, I uh, <clears throat> I did go to jail for it. Um, it was because I was calling for the chief of police to resign amidst doing some of my crimes. <laughs> so you you so you, you've dibbled and dabbled. 
one would say. I, I, I've dibbled. Okay. Now, um, do you, in your own expert opinion, believe that Bobby Charles committed accessory of terrorism? Objection calls for conclusion. And uh, he's proper. an expert. I'm asking for his expert opinion. Well, Your Honor, he actually, I would also like to mention that previously the court ruled that um, Mr. Thoroughbred was not actually an expert as to terrorism. Uh, he was found guilty and on terrorism charges, Your Honor, and he, co he served life in jail. Just because... Okay. Go ahead. Just because I make food in the kitchen and I take it to my husband doesn't make me a chef or a waiter it just you know all right i'll because he was arrested for question. terrorism doesn't mean he's I'll an expert opinion in your professional opinion Motherfucker. <laughs> no he's not an expert or a professional in terrorism okay all right, all right let me change the question in your former line of work mm -hmm. would you consider <laughs> what well, you would you consider bobby Dude. charles former terrorism in your experience, uh, in your experience, uh, it, it was so amateurish that I. Oh. Calls for conclusion. In your experience, what was your question, Rami? In your experience of being a former terrorist, would you consider the acts that occurred at the town hall terroristic? Go ahead. Uh, am, I, am, am I allowed to answer that, Your Honor? He didn't object. No, don't answer. No, don't. Oh. An, he did. He did object. I was asking to rephrase or restate your question. What's your objection? It calls for conclusion. Even though it's rephrased, it's still asking him to come to a legal conclusion on the matter of this case based on his experience as a, a former terrorist, which is still coming to a conclusion on the defendant's guilt. Okay. I don't think it calls for conclusion because he's not asking him if he committed terrorism itself. He's asking if he committed a terrorist act. Yes. He's not asking him if he committed a crime. He's asking him if he did something like a specific action. With that being said, Rami. What? Same shit I just told you. Okay, all right, okay, I'll, work. Ch I'll change my question. Did you feel That's terrorized? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whatever. Um, no. Uh, in fact, Go ahead. I was, uh, <laughs> it was a, it was a police baton that struck me down and not the, uh, the deranged re man in the red jumpsuit really? trying to chase me. Okay. And so oh, really, so the, a baton is what incapacitated you. Yeah, I saw the the flash of black steel or whatever the fuck batons are made out of coming down on my head as I tripped up the stairs. Okay, and and oh, wow, this is groundbreaking. So you're telling me that the officers strike you down with their baton and then try charging somebody else with terrorism for it? Uh, I suppose so. Oh my god, wow. So you're telling me the cops are terrorists? Um... I Rami, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> One second. <laughs> just collect my questioning here. <laughs> Is the officer that struck you with the baton in the courtroom today? I, I couldn't tell you who it was. It, there was like probably 30 people around mm. me. Mm. And for, for the record, I just want to say that I don't think it was done on purpose uh or with any real intent okay or the, i think the intent was to protect me it's just you know there were just so many people that he uh or she kind of wailed <laughs> on me okay sir we do not assume in this courtroom apologies sir thank you so you're telling me it was gross negligence by on the pd that is what struck you down uh, i can't i can't say whether it is or not well, in your opinion mm. Speculation. The witnesses stated that he wasn't even sure who who hit him, so he could certainly not testify as to the motivations or uh, in actuality if it was negligent behavior. If he doesn't even know the specifics of what happened. Okay, I'll, I'll drop my question. Was was wait, all... hang, wait 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 wait. Hang on. I'm be real. I, I didn't even listen to what he said. To clarify, I know that it was a. Uh, cop because... <laughs> oh, 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 sorry. Rami asked. So it was gross negligence of whoever hit you. He said. I cannot say whether it is or not. And Rami said, in your opinion. He already answered the question of he can't say if it was negligent or not. So his opinion is that he can't say. He doesn't know. So objections overruled also. I'm not but dropping I am still telling you that question ain't flying. Ask and answer. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Well, can you... 
uh, what, what will you say about the situation, Dab? It was chaos. Mm. Bro, you did not. Was, <laughs> was, was Captain Stop. Ruth on scene? Stop. Did, Rami? What? Objection. Don't go down that line. I know where you're going. Am... Stop it. <laughs> Don't go down that what line. What am I doing wrong? I'm asking my... Can I object? Am I... <laughs> oh, yeah. Good one, man. Good one. What did you say? This guy's Childish. dumb. Childish. Child, literally childish. Okay. Excuse me. Look at the line of questioning you have. I'm asking if certain officers were on scene. That's all it is. Rami? What? First of all... Oh, so now Slacks wants to talk, Your Honor. Stop. First of all, Ruth has not been mentioned once. Do not go down the line I know you're trying to go down. Secondly, we are this close to being done. Okay. If I have mm -hmm. to get... I have to give you one more contempt. Well, your honor, your, I mean, your honor, I'm simply trying to figure out. Don't your honor me. Listen to me. Listen to I me. I will pull this courtroom over. We don't know at the time of the inauguration. He, we don't, we haven't established if he was announced as a mayor or not. We, for all we know, the officers could have taken him trying to incapacitate him to have their other mayoral candidate, Cornwood, be the mayor. Uh -huh. They could have tried taking him out. We don't know. And that's what I'm trying to establish in the courtroom today. For all we know, Ruth Slacks and all of them could have been on scene to try to take Dab out so that Cordwood could have been the mayor and Ooh, incapacitate him. Me. That's, my, that was, that's his rap that was, name. That was my, that was my I'm aware. I'm the one who put him in prison. You are, oh. I'm not sure how many gymnastic hoops you're, uh, you know, the lawyer's going through, but it's just crazy. Not uh, many, I'm, but this is... I'm doing my job, Your Honor. That's all it is. Yeah, not many. This is finger licking good. <laughs> Why, why are you the way that you are? I, you're, I, I'm 23 and one for a reason. Asterix. <clears throat> yeah, and I'm just simply just okay. trying to bring reasonable doubt into the, into the play here. We've already established that there was you a perjury, asking, a perjuring witness. You are asking if Captain Ruth was on scene. Yes. Mr. Thoroughbred, answer the question. Uh, no idea. No idea. Do you know who Captain Ruth is? <laughs> uh, I've heard of her. I've never, uh, met her. I think that's because she operates late into the morning-ish, right? Usually? I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you describe Bobby Charles's character to the people of the courts? Objection asked and answered. I, what did I ask and answer? I'd like... I'd like to answer this one. I got a good answer for this one. Hang on. No, wait. Were you at the incident? Yes. Have you gone along with Barbie Charles? No. Would you pardon them? I would. Do you consider yourself an expert on terrorism? I went to jail for it. You've dibbled. Yes. Did you feel terrorized? No. There's nothing here about asking for him to describe Bobby Charles' character. So that's going to be overruled. Um, as far as Bobby Charles's character, I, I see, you ever see uh wacky racing, like the old cartoon? Yes. It's like he, he is mutt. Oh my God. And, wait. And Carmine is the, wait, 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 the evil guy. Hang on. Your uncle. Objection, your honor. That's contempt. Hang on. My New York, I was stuck on this line on the New York Times crossword a few days ago, and Wacky Racer was the fucking answer for it. Just give me a second. Boom. Yeah, Bobby Charles is uh, the Muttley, Carmine's God, Dick good. Dastardly. Wait, hold on. I have something to say. I'm sorry. I have to get involved after this. You said that the, the New York Times puzzle a couple days ago you struggled on? It was... It was... Sundays, I think. Oh, Sundays. Oh, you're very... Okay, I was going to say, if it was a couple days ago, the hardest day is Sunday and the easiest day is Monday and they get harder throughout the week. I was. Is, they, is that really how it works? No. That yeah, I was going to say sense, maybe actually. you shouldn't be a judge if you're struggling with something before Sunday. Hey, man, no, some, people, some people are better at math. Some people are better at crosswords. Judges I'm, should be able to do Sundays. I don't, I don't do well at either. I'm just making sure. Sorry, sir. Continue on with... You know, yeah, you're okay. Days. Just Carmine is Dick Dastardly, and Bobby is who? Uh, Muttley, his dog, the one that goes. <laughs> they kind of like snicker about like trying to foil the racers and stuff. They're they're, oh. they're like they're like cartoon characters to me. Okay. 
All right, we're almost done with this. I know everybody's getting to the point of delirium, so let's let's kind of push through this a little bit more. Uh, Rami, go ahead. Okay. Um, do you find it odd that the police batoned you and then immediately charged somebody with uh, somebody with a crime for it? I can't speak to the protocols of the police. I've been on the other side for most of my life. Hmm. Uh, did I forgot? Did you sustain him from speaking about the character of witness? Uh, or... No, he can speak on Bobby Charles's character. He said that Bobby Charles was more of like Muttley, while Carmine was Dick Dastardly. Okay, I mean, if you want to go ahead, is there any more, anything more you want to say? The la lastly, this is the last thing. Um, um, if you want to say anything on Bobby, you're good to go after that. Well, my re my reason for comparing them as such is because um. Every time in the cartoon when they try to foil the racers, they just always like don't pull it off, right? They're like they're like harmless antagonists, kind of there to, I don't know, be laughed at when they inevitably fail again for the one hundredth time. So you would say he's like. I gotta bite my tongue. Yes. So you're saying, our mind, shut up. You're saying that they're like Coyote versus Speedrunner, Roadrunner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. They're just like an old old cartoon characters. What? Like Team Rocket for Pokemon. Or like oh, so who's Meowth? Tom and Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's to they're Tom. Or like Mo Mo Tom. Mojo Jojo. Who's Jerry? In the, in the uh, everybody but you. <laughs> who's Tom? Hang on, I disrespecting you. him nicely like this is crazy. <laughs> all right. Rami, was that it? Uh, that is all. Dab, if you have nothing else to say, uh, you're free to go. Sorry again for wasting. No. Oh. I'm the judge. Oh, sorry. Cross. Do you, do you have cross? Oh yes, yes I do, Your Honor. Rami. Okay, not sure what he's gonna cross on here. Hi, hey Oliver. there. Hey, hi. How are you? What's up, Mr. Hall? So much. I got a couple questions for you. Let's start off with this. You said there was chaos at the courthouse. Who who caused that chaos? Um, it's hard to say. I know there were a lot of people there to see their respective elective officials be uh, thrown up and kind of given their positions. And there was a lot of excitement for me because I received 50% of the vote. Astounding victory. Yep. Yeah, sorry. You said you didn't know who caused the chaos? Um... It, it, I, I'm pretty confident. Okay, so I was ushered inside because we were aware of uh, Bobby Charles, um, or rather, the guy in the red jumpsuit, who I would later find out is Timo, uh, had been kind of like asking around for me um, for several hours before that point. And I, uh, one of my security, I can't even remember who it was because it was so long ago. Someone warned me that they were making their move or whatever. Like the red jumpsuit guy was sprinting at me through the crowd. So uh, I was ushered inside. I warned Crane on the way up the stairs. And then, uh, you know, everyone kind of collapsed on each other on the staircase. And I got smacked by a baton. Eventually, I, I wasn't the only one. I think Crane got smacked too. A bunch of people. Really? Got up. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. So if I'm to understand you correctly, it was Timo that caused it all. Actually, right? your honor, speculation. I'm not sure how this is speculatory, your honor. This is a witness firsthand. He saw all this. But why are you smiling? He's literally testifying for the witness. I just asked him a question. He can lead honor. chat. It's cross. Uh, and what was the question, sir? Wait, hold on. The judge needs to answer. Okay. He's so asking if Timo caused all the chaos. Um... He didn't say Timo saw. He didn't say he saw Timo. He said, he said he saw a, he's, Oh, he said he didn't see anything. He said he's heard about a guy. In a red, he said he saw a guy in a red jumpsuit that he found out was Timo. With that being said, I'm going to let the question go, but I don't know why Mr. Thoroughbred was called as a character witness and we're asking him about yeah, everything literally. he actually witnessed. Rami. You asked me about things he witnessed too. Yeah, I kind of fucked up on that. Yeah, you did. 
He's a character witness. I don't know why he's uh, being questioned as an eyewitness. But because y'all opened it up, I'm forced to keep the mayor here even longer. So, Mr. <laughs> mayor, did Timo cause the chaos? It's hard to say. I it it was so long ago. I I can't really recall like what sparked <laughs> everything off. My man, Dab. Yes, sir. My man. Yeah, I want to ask you. I my, mean, my my man. The defendant threatened you, didn't he? Uh, Bobby Charles. That's right. <laughs> On that day, I believe so. I think I he he said he had a sniper on the roof, ready to yeah, use a seven six two. What did he say there? Uh, well, see, that's the thing though is like that's like the twentieth time he's like threatened me directly like that. It was just like it never ever nothing ever happened from anything he ever I, I honestly i feel like he's kind of like flirting with me in a way almost oh, wow. he kind of like saunters up to me and he's like hey you know i'm gonna i'm gonna blow your fucking brains out you big daddy you know and i just like it, it never happens he's always he's kind of like a tease i see you just said he always threatens but nothing ever happens but that's not true in this case is it well yeah i mean Something something did happen. happen. Oh, yeah, but it, it wasn't them. It literally, it was not. Objection, them. Was... Your Honor. He's badgering the witness. I'm not sure how I'm badgering. To be quite honest, Your Honor, I, I think that's. Uh, yeah, something did happen by the hands of the police, Oliver. I'm trying to badger my witness. So, how do I prove this? Kind of badgering. But also, it sounds like they're both smiling and laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm all uh, I'm, I'm, just I'm, a I'm, condescending I'm, bitch. That's all it is. Sorry, you, I'll give you. I'll your take. Honor, I'll take the, the contempt on that one. Yeah, please give me that one. I'll take. Hey, I'll. Hey, you know I mean, Flax, can you add a uh, times four on? No, no, uh, chill. The thing? Whoa, 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 uh, hmm. bro. How? I'm not. Ain't no way. I'm here for seven hours and I get minus eight k in the bank. Relax, please. What do you mean eight k? You're not at two k a piece. It's one k a piece, dumbass. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Four thousand dollars for calling Oliver a bitch in court. I'll take that any day of the week. No, nah, I will make it 8K. No, no, chill, chill, chill. Yo, 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 what the fuck? Oh, yeah, look at that. Yo, relax. Yeah, look at that. Bro. Crazy. Bro, I, you don't make nothing as a lawyer, bro. Relax, please. I don't make nothing as a judge either. What the hell? That, that, come on. I don't wake up. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm around every fucking day and I make a two thousand dollar paycheck. Speaking of that, Mayor, please hey, join raise the, doing other shit. I want to raise the salaries. That'll be great. I, I actually uh, did a pretty raise for you guys. If you can raise when, like recently or like last mm, two weeks not, ago? It, it was like two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're, getting off, again, we're getting off topic great. here. People want to, people, you know, we, what we help, we'll help for re-elections. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what, is this sustained or not, sir? It's overruled. It oh, he okay. just, you just admitted it was badgering. All right, go ahead. Uh, well, it, I said right. it's kind of badgering, but they're also laughing and joking about it. It's overruled. They're not badgering okay. each other. Okay, and dude. also he's inherently hostile, so he can he can do a tiny bit of badgering. Thank you, Your Honor. As you were saying, Mr. Mayor, something happened. Right. Right. And okay, if Your Honor, I'd like to uh, to read into the record the defendant's previous testimony from the other case and just just confirm because it seems he needs his memory refreshed. Um. So just tell me whether or not this is an accurate version of what the defendant threatened you. Uh, and I'll, I'll quote here. Uh, watch out, Max. You never know who could be on a rooftop. All it takes is one 762 bullet to end your mayoral career. Objection, yeah. Your Honor. Scope. The defendant? Well, I mean, scope. I, I just... Objection. Oh. Scope. I never once talked about that in my questioning. And he never opened that scope in his line. That oh, is true. Well, wait, you're out of, you're out of, uh, Mr. Mayor. Oh, oh, hold on. I, I, I dab, almost quoted that verbatim. Like a minute dab. Dab. He did. I, he also brought up the threats and dab. Uh, this is again. He can't talk, Your Honor. It's a, this is an objection. Bro, what is <laughs> Bro. It's an objection, Your Honor. Scope. I, he never said that once. Well, Your Honor, again, oh, the, you're doing? the witness testified <laughs> to previous threats. I got it. I, right. You know right. I have a bar license, and I'm up here for a reason, right? Like, you guys know that That's I'm, crazy. I, Badgering I, the judge shit. is crazy, Your Honor, personally. I, you know that, like, I read shit, and I listen to you guys, and I know how oh, to I know. interpret law, I know. right? Rami, you're part of the problem. Fuck you, Leo, you dumbass sorry, bitch. I just like to argue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You lost, Rami? I was just asking for food, that's all. Slax, don't egg him on. Yeah. Yeah, he is egging Rami? me on. Rami? Sorry, Don't. sorry. Fuck you, you stupid ass bitch. I hope you die, Leo. Children in this damn room. Oh, thank you. I hope you fucking die, you stupid ass. 
Bro, you did not. Oh. Your Honor, Your Honor, you seen what I'm. <laughs> you're seeing what I'm but seeing here, Your Honor, right? You did, you're seeing what I'm seeing here, right, Your Honor? Did you, you see that? Drop. Hang on. Hang on. Look, did you just put a burger down for him to grab? And he took <laughs> yeah. It grab and then he he, took two he, he picked it up and, and started eating it. Back to him? Yeah, he did. Sharing is caring, Your Honor. I hope That's you fucking true. die. Right, I hope you lose another eye, you dumb fucking bitch. I hope you die. Rami. I'm gonna kill you the way I killed Matt. Five, five. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Every time, every single, Rami, for crying out, every single time I say your name, he was. I was asking for a soda. No, no every time I say your name, I'm going out of contempt. <laughs> I was literally asking for a soda. Every time I say, I'm your sorry. Name. We'll keep it at four for now. But I was asking for a soda respectfully. Xavier okay, can testify. Every time, every time I say Rami, it's going up. Yes, sir. We're being fucking compared to cartoon characters, Carmine. Okay. Fucking. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Your it, it was brought up that he was threatened that day and mentioned the 762 bullet. It that's or that he had a, he had a sniper rifle that would that uses a 762. That's been brought up, scope's been opened, objections overruled. Thank Mr. You, Mayor, Ron. did you hear someone say and I quote, "Watch out, Max, you never know who could be on a rooftop. All it could take all it could, all it takes is a 762 bullet to end your mayoral career." Have you ever heard that? Yes. Oh my god, Dab's throwing. And that wasn't the first time he threatened you, was it? Dab! No, that was like time number 25. Yeah, in fact, on the day in question, isn't it true that Mr. Uh, the defendant, rather, he said... Wait, wait, he's helping me. Uh, no, 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 he's helping me. He also threatened you by saying, and I'm quoting here, Max, you wouldn't want to leave a little, Put in my URL little, notes. Time number 25. End quote. That's not even that's not even grammatically correct. Um, like, I like black genuinely do not recall him saying that. I, I wasn't married at the time. Black widows like the spiders. Mm -hmm. right, fair uh, enough. Fair enough. Married, married now though. Though. I see. I see. And, and I also want to ask. I mean, did the defendant support your mayoral campaign? No. In fact, he campaigned against you for other candidates, didn't he? Um, I mean, he attended some Ramasquami rallies, but I mean, I don't know if he actively campaigned for them. That's okay. So it's fair to say that the defendant wanted someone else's mayor. Isn't that right? Objection, Absolutely. Your Honor. Oh, oh my God. Oh, never mind. Don't you object, oh, Your oh, Honor. Oh, no oh, further oh, questions. Oh, oh, fuck. I'm going to wait three seconds. God damn it. I'm going to redirect real quick. You know, you know, there's like a reason I tell people to count to three. What right? the fuck know, are you're you right. doing? You're right. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I'm what sorry. The <laughs> what are you doing up here? <laughs> okay, Your Honor, I, I, I would just like to uh, redirect really quick. Okay, you can redirect. Go ahead. Dad, you said this is like time number 25 this has occurred, right? Yep. Now, the day that you got inaugurated as a mayor was the 25th time. Uh, I, Roughly, I don't know. Roughly, exactly. right? So before you were a mayor, he's threatened you. Before, so before you held the political uh, duty to the city, he was threatening you. Yeah, yeah. So one would say this wasn't political at all. This is just a vendetta towards you. Yeah, the, he he and his his best friend Carmine seem to have some un, like some un, inexplainable enmity toward me. Right, nothing to do with you being a okay, lawyer. Or wait, not. wait, wait. What does that mean? Um, enmity is like a, a deep hatred. Ah, hmm. uh, deep. He has right, a deep ahead. hatred for you. Has nothing to do with you being a mayor. Now the guy just doesn't like you. Uh, yeah. Then they never trusted me. I mean, every every conversation we've ever had has been pretty hostile. Sounds like attempted murder to me, right? Not terrorism. One, you think so? Cause for conclusion. Cause for conclusion. Blah blah. I know. I mean, listen, Rami, okay. next one. We know that an attempt was made. We, like, we're not trying to figure out right, right, what charge. Right. We're trying to figure out if right. it's terrorism. Right. Dad, do you hold any religious views? Yeah, I'm a Catholic. Catholic. And has Bobby said anything to you about Jesus Christ? I don't... Um, maybe I do not recall. Don't recall. Okay. I don't recall. I I I, I want to I I want to lean lean heavily toward no. I think. Okay. Um. Okay, you lean heavily towards no. Okay. Um. 
you were never worried about were you ever worried about bobby hurting you politically um no 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 i'm not i'm for the record again i don't see him or his best friend as a threat to me in any way okay that is all your honor you're good you're free to go dab thank you so much i'm not gonna be calling him or you know the judge can tell me he's free to go sorry sorry i was waiting for you sir thank you mr mayor you're free to leave they're going to closing so you can chill if you want i just you. i have yeah thank what? you is, is, judge, there, is I was gonna call Bobby. coming up yeah are you sure Should you I? want bobby to come up can i do it you did a good job sir nah 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 we're good okay so bobby's not coming up no i don't want bobby going up okay are we ready for closing i am good to go finally does anybody have them written down uh, no. no, I don't have my mind's off the off the dome. Oh my god. Reach my down. loving wife. My loving wife. Mm -hmm. All right. Prosecution, whenever you're ready. What? Thank you, Honor. I'll try to keep it brief. You don't have to uh, write too much. What? Wait, wait, make sure Connor, you talk about my loving wife. What the fuck are you talking about your wife for? We have a quite clear know, picture as to what occurred. Your wife Audio fucking hates you, Bobby. Facts. <laughs> we know that on the 20th, the defendant and Timo engaged in a conspiracy. Now, the defendant's role in this conspiracy was to provide well, aid, the to provide the supplies terrorism. to Timo to carry out this attack. So, Bobby Charles gave a hunting rifle to Timo. Timo attempted to use that gun to shoot and kill the mayor. When that failed, their plan diverted, and they changed it up. Instead of shooting the mayor, killing him that way, they were well, going to run after this? him I've, and I've beat my him line down of questioning in the URL City Hall. <laughs> Again, luckily they failed in committing that offense. <laughs> Fully murdering, committing a political assassination of the newly elected mayor. But they still tried. I want to go over some of the arguments that have, have been posed. I'll, I'll first start off with, is this actually terrorism? And I think quite clearly, based on the evidence, it is. This is a quite clear case of terrorism. The defendant acted in accord with Timo. We have shown conclusively that both of these individuals had political motives. First off, I'll start with Mr. Charles. Mr. Charles hated, had a long-standing animosity of Mayor Thoroughbred. He hated his politics. He supported other candidates. He consistently threatened him personally and wanted him dead. And we know that this long-standing animosity existed and that Bobby Charles would do anything he could to make sure that Mayor Thoroughbred was not the mayor, that he was taken out of office, and they wanted to kill him to, to make sure that was the case. So this is the political motive of Bobby Charles. He wanted other candidates. He hated the, the mayor himself. He wanted to do what he could to get him out. Uh, second, we know Timo's. We know Timo, he uh, was paid to, to kill the mayor, and we also know that he uh, that he wanted the mayor dead so that he could not enact policies that would be harmful to the Russian people. That was his stated today. We know that quite clearly that Timo, for certain, had a political motive. We can say conclusively that the defendant did as well, but even if the defendant's motivations were not political, if they were personal or they had nothing to do with the mayor and he, he just acted... Out of idiocy, which I, I think we've heard quite conclusively that the defendant can be quite easily proved that he is not a smart man. And even if that was the case, that Get doesn't matter. Three points all we GPA. need to show is that the defendant joined in the motive of Timo. Because Timo is the one that committed the act of terror. And Bobby Charles acted as an accessory before the fact. We've proven that Timo had political motivation. And that transfers over to Bobby Charles in his assistance of that act. And we know, of course, that this was an act of terror. That uh, the, the purpose was political. That the uh, method was to use extreme violence to first try and shoot and kill him. And when that failed, bludgeon him to death. We know that they were almost successful. But just because they didn't succeed in killing the mayor, that doesn't entirely matter. They still attempted to, and they still caused great harm. They were the cause of the chaos on that day. Even if they didn't directly hurt anyone, the fact that they whipped a crowd up 
and caused a huge response that resulted in extreme injury of multiple individuals means that they, again, engaged in an extreme act of violence, even if they weren't the one that perpetrated it. But still, we know that they did. We know that Timo hit other individuals there. We know that he shot the gun at the mayor, but unfortunately, luckily rather, missed. Um, and finally, we know the purpose. We know that they were trying to commit this political assassination in an effort not only to stop the mayor from executing his duties and enacting his political aims, but also to tell the people of San Andreas that that political ideology would not be acceptable. We know conclusively based on the evidence of Bobby Charles' involvement, we know on the day multiple times he threatened the mayor, he admitted it on recording multiple times that he uh, had told uh, th that he had paid Timo and that he was gloating in the mayor after he had been attacked. So the evidence is quite clear that he was involved. He was an accessory before the fact. And since Timo committed an act of terror, Bobby Charles is also guilty of being an accessory. Uh, Your Honor, I mean, the evidence is quite conclusive here. We've proven beyond all reasonable doubt that the defendant is guilty of being an accessory to terrorism. So I ask that you find him guilty. Thank you. Hey, hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the courts, my client here is being charged with accessory to terrorism. Let me read you a charge in the penal code. A collaborative agreement between two or more individuals that enact in the process to commit a crime. This is done via verbal, written, or electric communication between the individuals with confirmation that a crime will be taking place. Do the people of the courts know what that, what that charge is? That charge is conspiracy, which is what it was occurred. Not accessory, not accessory to, uh, to uh, terrorism. Timo was not coherent at the time of the interrogation. He went by the name of Peter, a spy from Russia. A man who had multiple personalities, but three days prior was a security guard at the local mall in the food court. Now, one would ask, is Mother Russia political? Did he talk about the Kremlin? No. Did he talk about the President Putin? No. He just said Mother Russia. Or should I say Peter said Mother Russia? Mm -hmm. Was there any therapists here? No. We had Officer Suarez on the stand say that they just detained, that he detains and arrests officers, I mean, uh, suspect or individuals without reasonable suspicion or probable cause solely based off of a cop tells him to. Word for word. Not only that, one of their quote-unquote key witnesses that got called on the stand by the name of Jonathan Acker lied on the stand. This man is a known felon for obstruction of justice. And we have established that he has disliked Bobby Charles since he's met him. Another piece of evidence. His phone text messages. Both Captain Slacks, or only Captain Slacks, has gone on the stand and said that Bobby Charles gets his phone SIM card stolen daily. And even if it wasn't stolen, there's no timestamp, no date, or nothing that say that of a timeline that occurred on those pictures. Timo agreed. They, Timo, quote, unquote, agreed to give him his phone. Timo was not in the right state of mind. None of the officers, none of the witnesses on the stand uh, agreed that, uh, thought that he was. So now we have three, op we have three issues here.
We have a, 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 a witness that lied on the stand. We have a, the alleged aggressor who clearly isn't even in the correct state of mind. And then we have uh, uh, the officers con uh, mis uh, conducting gross negligence, not only on scene by attacking the mayor with the baton, by, but also through investigation. We got the mayor on the stand who said that this is the 25th instance of him, uh, of him getting attacked by these individuals. 25th instance, number 25. The 25th instance was the day that he got acted as a mayor. All 24 other attacks were prior to him becoming a mayor or even him even thinking about running for mayor. There was no political involvement at all. This is just simply another one. If, allegedly, this is simply this is simply just another uh, one of those threats made by uh, Bobby Charles, allegedly. Or sorry, threatened, not attacked. My apologies. Fourthly, another piece of evidence, the hunting rifle. The hunting rifle doesn't even come back to anybody. We had Captain Slacks come on the stand and say, oh, the PD doesn't even know if they either had licenses at the time, and there was no serial number on the weapon. For all we know, Bobby Charles could have been hunting, and Timo could have went and ditched the, uh, di he could have tried to shoot and ditch the, the hunting rifle somewhere else. There is absolutely zero concrete evidence of accessory to terrorism. Conspiracy? Maybe. Accomplice of second degree? Maybe. Terrorism? I haven't seen one thing in court hold value. I want to repeat it again, the penal code. A collaborative agreement between two or more individuals that enact in the process to commit a crime. Let's say all the evidence does hold in court. That would be the conspiracy charge. Let's go to the penal code here and read terrorism. Shall we? For the people in the course that don't have an uh, MDT. Terrorism. The unlawful use of extreme violence and intimidation against the civilian population that would pursue political aims in the name of religious ideology. Does the man next to my right look like he's committing terrorism right now? Because if so, everybody here is a terrorist, technically, if they're just standing here. Uh, the way he's standing right now is the exact way he's been standing. In the footage, by all the testimonies, and by the people that were there on the scene. I didn't know this is an accomplice of terrorism. All in all, wrapping it up, a client here is being charged with a crime that he did not commit. Accessory to terrorism. Conspiracy and accomplice of second degree, maybe. But that's not what he's looking at. He was held in Bolingbroke Penitentiary for a week, compliant on everything. Never once argued any, anything in court. The man, this man, because of this happened, he's looking at a divorce. <laughs> oh God! He's looking. He's lost all his friends, and now he's known as a terrorist. His <laughs> reputation oh, is ruined. No. Defense here asks for the courts to find my client not guilty, so he can get his life back together and earn money. And, and live the way he wants to live in Los Santos. A free state. That is all, Your Honor. Thank you so much to the people of the court. Okay. Rami, before we finish up, do you... Um, I forgot to ask you. Do you have any evidence that you want me to highlight? Or anything like that? I, the only thing I want to strike entirely is the Acker. The whole Acker situation. Do you have any evidence you want me to highlight? Uh, the highlight... Like, want me to focus on? Yeah, highlighting evidence is the hunting rifle not coming back to anybody. Um... Jonathan Acker, right? I mean, that's a very big thing here. Uh, Timo's incoherence at the time of the interrogation. I think Suarez's testimony, Suarez's line of question was very, very alarming. Dapp's statement that this is the 25th time that he's been attacked prior to him even being a mayor is also, there shows no political motive here. Okay. Um, sounds good. And the cops are All the right. ones that put him down. Okay.
Gotcha. Um, Mr. Charles, because you showed up to court today, congrats. You're not on bail anymore. Free to do as you oh, please. Also, the SIM card thing. Look at how many. Look at how many reports this guy's filed for his SIM card being taken. Uh, well, that's not evidence. I'm Your Honor, can I have the six dollars back? Yes, you will have your six dollars back. See, that, that's a win. Um. What's your bank account? Uh, come up here and give me your bank account number. Yeah. Oh, I just said ID actually. What is your bank account number? Chat, the court case wasn't that long. It was like three hours, three, four hours. It's a long one, but like it was it, it like I didn't mind it. Hey, bro, I did the best I could, right? Six one seven nine yeah, I saw, five, yeah, five, you five, nine. You the nail five hours. Of this shit. Great, man. All right. If, if this ain't a dub, then I mean, I don't know, man. I did my I did my I, I pulled out all the guns for this one, right? Yeah, I, I no, saw. Great. The cars back. All right. All right. Uh, I'm calling this court adjourned. Uh, there will not be a verdict tonight. I will be oh, posting God. it over hopefully within the next 24 hours, and we'll go from there. You gotta Sounds be good. shitting me. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Bobby, okay. if you are to be found guilty of anything, if you do not turn yourself in ASAP, I will make sure there is a bench warrant out for you to add 10 years onto any sentence. I'm not even going to be around tomorrow, man. Yes, Your Honor. All right, Damn, cool. bro. I tried. Oh, I did the hardest I could, bro. So if you read my statement, the thing is, is it also makes Oliver Hall a witness. What? Read my statement. Hey. It was me, Mortimer, and Oliver. You want to go get some drinks, Bobby? We go to the club. You guys don't mind, go, do you? I gotta go make fun of. I gotta go Police make fun of. So. Everybody be his last day, day out. I can tell you what that means uh, in a second. Hey, we yeah. love you, Robbie. Hey, 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 peace out. Please Wait, sir, say it again. Please. Hey, come over here. Come here. Good job, Robbie. Hey. Good job. Appreciate it. You know what we do? If we lose so, it, we appeal it and put for a mistrial because it, exactly because so here's the thing. If he's gonna say that it was suspect and he made me recuse myself off of this case, right? Oliver was also a witness. I named him in my statement. Okay. So if, if, if that's the case, cases. if he, if we lose the if we lose the Timo and Bobby Charles case, we both we appeal both of them yeah. right away and say that we're calling for a mistrial due to the prosecution being a conflict yeah. conflict of interest. And I'll probably have to there recuse myself from Timo, which is fine. But we'll say we'll save Bobby. We'll save Bobby. Yeah, I'll pick yeah. it up. Yeah, 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 exactly. So how do you think that went? I, thought that I don't know. I mean, I, I did the best I could, bro. I'm gonna be real. Okay, honestly, this is my true opinion. If 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 I did my job and Timo gets found not guilty, it doesn't matter. They can't charge you. So our best bet is hoping that Timo was found not guilty. Right, but alone today alone. Apparently, Jimbo ate all the food. Bro, I tried, bro. I got I, I fucked up Suarez in questioning. I I dis I made Acker. Uh, I don't. I need, bro. God damn. Uh, can I get? Oh yeah. Green, you watch that case? Then, if I do get fined. Uh, last thirty seconds. Hang on, I was cooking the fuck out of them. You should have seen it. All right. You looking good? Which where you at? You got a date? Where?